any doubt uh, that you want to ask guys okay yeah so let's uh, start from here now what we do is that uh, so we know that uh, we have a parallel plate capacitor right and uh, yeah and uh, the medium is air between there okay so capacitance is uh, a e epsilon naught by t right so this is a uh, capacitance air we can say and if we insert some medium in it okay so if we insert some uh, medium in it with a, a dielectric constant, uh, with a dielectric constant, okay. So the capacitance in medium is equal to A E epsilon naught K by D. This we did, right, guys? And uh, we know that this K is uh, greater than one. So C of medium capacitance of medium is uh, increased right so this is greater than c here and it is increased by k times so c medium so c medium is uh, equal to k and uh, c here so this uh, we calculated right now uh, what happens is that what we do is that uh, we insert a partially filled uh, dielectric. Okay, so we have a dielectric who's uh, who has uh, some thickness. So let's say we insert the dielectric like this, right? And it has uh, some thickness, which is a uh, okay. whose color will be so it has uh, some thickness. And it has some thickness t okay so we know that uh, this total distance is uh, d and uh, this distance has uh, this is some um, dielectric whose thickness is t okay and then we want to calculate what would be the capacitance so is this uh, clear guys yeah yes sir yes sir Okay, so the same idea. What we do is that capacitance is uh, Q by V, right? So we have to calculate uh, the voltage between uh, these, uh, let's say, capacitors, between these parallel plate uh, capacitors, right? So we know that uh, what is voltage? Voltage, a voltage is E into D. Right. This is a voltage, right, guys? Yes. Sir. Yes. Okay. So now uh, E would be of two parts. One would be E of air, and then the other would be E of uh, this dielectric uh, slab. Right. So let us write uh, this as slab. Slab. Okay, so uh, we know that uh, what, what, so what is the area that contains uh, the air only? What is the area that contains the air only? D minus T. D minus D minus T. Yes, absolutely correct. Absolutely correct. So D minus T. And uh, we know that the area uh, or the electric field of a capacitor inside the plate 
is a sigma by epsilon naught. Right. Is this uh, correct? Yes, so this would be sigma. Let us uh, write uh, this as, uh, I should write uh, not uh, this T, but uh, let us write, uh, so E air and uh, let's say D1 plus E, uh, what uh, should I write, slab and D2. So E air would be sigma by epsilon naught. So this would be sigma by epsilon naught uh, and D as uh, Mariam said, D minus T. Okay. And E slab would be how much? So this is uh, air and uh, E slab would be how much? This would be sigma by epsilon naught K, right? So this would be sigma by epsilon naught uh, k and d2 is how much? So this is uh, this d2 would be how much? Yes, what is uh, the separation or what is the length of, of this? Uh, yeah, yes, uh, Mariam, did you say anything? Yes, Aisha, what would be the length of this lab? Yes. No, so only the slab part, only the dielectric part. Total is D, right? This is uh, air. This is uh, air. And uh, this is the slab part. Right, dielectric slab part. So, as uh, Mariam said, the air part is uh, D minus T. Right, slab part is uh, what? So, T only. Right, uh, yes, correct, uh, Mariam, T only. So, is this uh, understood, guys? Is this clear? Yes, yeah. okay. Okay, so now we just uh, simplify sigma epsilon naught uh, is uh, common. So sigma by epsilon naught is common and we have D minus T plus T by K. This is the voltage. Okay, guys. Now we have uh, calculated the voltage. So now we just uh, plug in. So this would be the heading you should write that uh, capacitance of a partially filled capacitor. And partially filled uh, with dielectric slab. Okay, so we have calculated uh, the V, right? So capacitance would be how much? Q by V and uh, Q is uh, sigma, right? All the areas are same. So whatever the plates are, the area is same, area is same, right? So this would be sigma into A and uh, V we have calculated. So sigma by epsilon naught, and D minus T plus T by K. So this sigma sigma cancels and we have capacitance which is equal to A by A E epsilon naught D minus T plus T by K. Okay. So is this uh, clear guys? Clear? Yes. Okay, you guys, uh, please note it down. Uh, please note it down, guys.
Yes, Saad and uh, Mariam. Clear. Okay. So whenever you guys have a note it down, uh, please tell me. Then Mariam has noted. Uh, yeah, Saad and uh, Aisha, what about you guys? Done. Yeah. So, uh, Saad, uh, how many chapters uh, has been done in your school, uh, Saad? One second, sir. Yeah. So, in the last part, you say the two chapters, I guess. Because they, they took the exam of two chapter in your school. So. Yeah, uh, you check uh, how many chapters has been done, and uh, did you note uh, uh, note it down, uh, Saad? Yes. Okay, so let me go ahead and you check, please. Now, what we do is that uh, in place of conductor, so in place of uh, conductor, we add capacitance of of parallel plate capacitor partially filled with conductor. Okay, so we have a, a parallel plate capacitor, right? And uh, it is so it is uh, partially filled with a conductor. We have a conductor here, right? So this is a conducting material. Dry electric is not a conducting material, right? And uh, this is a conducting material. So what can you say about uh, the this is uh, air and uh, this is air and this thickness is t total is uh, d so again air is how much d minus t conductor is uh, t right guys so uh, what can you say about the electric field of a conductor Electric field inside the conductor. Yeah. Zero, right? So electric field inside the conductor is zero because uh, all the uh, all the charges uh, reside at the surface of a conductor. So that is why electric field inside the conductor is zero because we don't have any charge, right? But uh, the potential is. Uh, constant so we have to remember that okay so uh, electric field right v is uh, we want to calculate uh, the capacitance right and again we need to calculate uh, voltage right between the plates so again v is uh, e d right and e would be e air d1 plus 
the conductor yeah one two three completed and chapter number four okay good because in today's class i would be completing this uh this chapter second chapter so then i will start i will see uh, that on saturday on saturday i whether i start uh, whether i start uh, this uh, third chapter or let's uh, see that uh, what we can do so on saturday we have a class at uh, 12 pm ksa right guys so please uh, please uh, be in that class be present in that class so d2 and what we will do is that uh, so uh, before your school reopen what i will try to do is that i will complete uh, three at least three chapter and if we start the fourth chapter then would be very good right so e air uh, e air is uh, how much sigma by epsilon naught right and in distance as uh, mariam has said uh, previously d minus t and what about uh, the conductor electric field? How much is that, Aisha? Yes. How much is the electric field of a conductor? Zero. So zero into T, right? So this would be only sigma by epsilon naught uh, D minus T plus zero. So this is uh, the potential. Okay, we know the potential and now we calculate uh, the capacitance. So capacitance is Q by V. So Q by, and let me write uh, Q as uh, sigma into A. So this is uh, sigma by epsilon naught uh, D minus T. So this sigma sigma cancels and we have A E epsilon naught D minus T. So if we place if we place a conducting material inside uh, the plate, partially fill it with the conductor, then this would be the uh, capacitance. Please uh, note it down. And if you guys have any question, uh, please ask. So quickly note it down, guys. So whenever you guys have noted it down, uh, please tell. Done. Uh, Aisha and uh, Saad. What about you guys? Then, uh, Saad? Yes, Saad. Yeah. Okay, so now uh, the next topic is uh, the energy, energy of a parallel plate capacitor so energy stored in a parallel plate capacitor okay because we talked about that a capacitor is uh, what energy storing device so how much is the energy stored in a capacitor right so this uh, energy would be the work done uh, by the capacitor right so this dw would be q dq into v right for a small charge this would be the work done, right? So D W is uh, how much V D Q, and uh, we know that V is how much. So Q is uh, C V, right? So V is uh, Q by C. I should write. I am writing small one, so I should write uh, the small. 
queue and uh, this queue or uh, cap sorry sorry so i should write uh, the capital one so this is q and uh, v is a uh, q by c and uh, this is uh, capital one okay so charge we represent the charge by capital q so that is why i want to be consistent with the notations okay so this is uh, the work done and if we calculate the total work done so that would be equal to what this would be integration of uh, v dq right and v we know this is a uh, q by c dq so we know that uh, we know that this c is constant so this is taken outside right and we have an integration of q dq so what is the integration of uh, this uh, q yeah what is uh, the integration of x dx what is that aisha you tell me what is the integration of x dx yes we know already that integration of x n dx is uh, x n plus 1 divided by n plus 1 this we know for the algebraic function the integral so what would be this what is the power here yes aisha Oh, so now you remember the formula. What is the power here? Uh, Saad, what is the power here? For x, what is the power? One. One. So this would be simply one. N is one, right? So N plus one divided by N plus one. Right, guys? So this would be how much? X is square by two. So uh, integration of X is uh, X is square by two. Right, uh, so this would be how much? This would be one by C Q square by two, right? So this would be the work done and uh, this is equal to Q square by two C. So this is this would be the energy. Work done is a change in potential energy, right? So this would be equal to the energy. Is this a clear guys? Okay, so uh, we have calculated the energy stored in uh, the capacitor and uh, we can write Q as uh, what? So we can write uh, Q as uh, CV. Okay, so Q square by 2C would be how much? So this is C square V square by 2C. So C, C cancel and uh, we have energy equal to half uh, cv square so this is the other form this one is the one form this is the other and we can also write uh, c as uh, so c as a q by v yeah so why is uh, Q equals to CV? Is that? <laughs> yeah, so this was uh, the, for the topic uh, of uh, the capacitance. So we know that Q is directly proportional to V. So when we were doing the capacitance uh, topic, so then we removed the proportionality and it came out to be CV. So then we said that this is the capacitance. Right? We, when, when we were talking about uh, the idea of the capacitance. So then we talked about uh, this, uh, Mariam. You already have forgotten. So now you remember. Yes, Mariam. Uh, remember now.
Yes, uh, clear, Maya. So this uh, we did uh, in here. So you guys, please revise. Otherwise, yeah. So that is why I'm telling you guys that uh, this part. So Q is directly proportional to B. We remove the proportionality and we get. So this was uh, the capacitance, right? Yeah, so is that uh, clear, uh, Mariam? Okay, so this is the second form and then we have uh, the other form which is, uh, so we re replace this C by Q. So this would be one by two and this is Q by V into V square. So V square and this cancel and we have half Q V. So these are the three forms in which we can write uh, the energy stored in a, in a parallel plate capacitor. So this is in the form of Q and V. This is in the form of C and V. And uh, this is in the form of Q and C, right? So whatever is given, whenever you are given this uh, Q and C, so then apply this formula, or whenever you are given this, so you apply this form. Is, there, is this uh, clear to you guys? Is this uh, clear to you? Okay, so you guys uh, please uh, note it down and then uh, we'll do the, yeah, so then we will do the last topic. Yes, so whenever you guys uh, need me to scroll down the screen, uh, you guys uh, tell me. Okay, so Yes, uh, whenever you have, guys have completed noting it down, uh, please tell. Okay. Then, uh, yes. And uh, Saad, done. Yes, sir, it's all done. Yes, sir, the noted, uh, noted or uh, completed. Are you there, sir? Yeah, sir, you are here. So I guess uh, you have completed, right? Uh, Okay, let's so let us go ahead and uh, okay so 
now let us talk about a different uh, kind of situations right so what do we know we know that uh, we know that uh, the energy uh, but let us do this uh, topic first so energy density of a parallel plate capacitor okay energy density of a parallel plate capacitor so uh, we have calculated the energy right energy of a parallel plate uh, capacitor as q square by 2c right or uh, half c v square right uh, guys so we have completely uh, calculated uh, this energy yes and uh, what would be the energy density so what would be let's write uh, this only q square by 2c so uh, what would be the energy density so you guys already know that uh, what is uh, the charge density right or whatever is uh, whatever how do we define a density Okay, Saad got disconnected. So how we defi define the density? This is something upon a volume. Right, uh, guys. This is uh, something upon volume. It's yeah. So uh, if I'm calculating the mass density, right? So this would be mass by volume. But now I am calculating the energy density. So this would be how much? Energy density would be how much? This would be energy by volume. Right, uh, right. Yeah. So this would be energy by volume. So let us write uh, this energy density, how do we represent? So energy density would be E by volume. So what is uh, the volume of a parallel plate capacitor? Okay, this area is uh, how much? So this uh, area is, uh, this area is A. This is the base area, right? And uh, this length is uh, D. So what would be this volume? Volume would be base area into height, which is this D, right? So this would be E divided by this A into D. Is that uh, clear to you guys? This. Yes. Okay. So now uh, this would be how much? Q square by 2C into A into D. Okay. So this uh, we can write it as, uh, so this uh, we can write, this Q is uh, sigma and uh, into A. Right. So sigma into A and this uh, square. And uh, this is uh, 2 C and A into D. So this would be sigma square and uh, this is A square, right? And uh, this is 2 C A into D. So A, A cancels, right? And we know what is the value of this capacitance. So this is uh, sigma square and uh, this is 2 into A E epsilon naught. A E epsilon naught uh, by D into D. So this D, D cancel and this A and A we can cancel. Okay. So this uh, energy density would be how much? Energy density would be sigma square by 2 and epsilon naught, right. So we know that uh, what is the electric field? 
electric field is sigma by epsilon naught. So to get, we have this as uh, sigma square, right? So let us multiply this by epsilon naught and uh, divide by epsilon naught. So then we will get a sigma by epsilon naught square, right? One by two and then this uh, epsilon naught. Okay, so this would be how much? One by two epsilon naught e square. So this is uh, the energy density of a, remember that this is not the energy, this is electric field. So energy density would be half epsilon naught e square, where this is uh, the electric field. Okay, so this is uh, the energy density of a, of a parallel plate capacitor. Any doubt uh, in this uh, part, guys? Any doubt? Yes. Do you guys have any doubt? Yes, uh, guys. Uh, Saad, uh, Aisha, Maria. Do you guys have any doubt? No, sir. Okay, so please uh, note it down and then uh, we will, uh, yeah, we will uh, do uh, one more topic and then one question and then the last topic. So, yeah. So you guys tell me which chapter was uh, more difficult, the electric charge and field or this one, potential? Which chapter is uh, more difficult? Which one is easy? Yeah, first one is uh, difficult uh, for you, Maria. Yes, sir. Okay, so whatever you see, uh, you feel difficult, we will revise that part uh, again and again, right? So we will repeat that part. But before uh, first we complete uh, the third or the fourth up to fourth chapter, okay. So in uh, in Saad school, uh, they have completed uh, three chapters. And uh, Aisha, in your school, what they have completed? We've completed a fourth chapter. Fourth chapter they have completed. Yeah, Aisha, up to fourth chapter they have completed. Yes, sir, we'll start the fifth one. Fifth one, okay. And Mariam, what about you? Yeah. So, how much they have completed? Fourth one. Ah, oh, yes. Uh, what did you say, Maria? Fourth one. I'll mm, uh, leave it at that. So you can write it in the chat box. Then you please, you guys, uh, please note it down. So just so how did you get sigma square dot epsilon naught by two epsilon naught into epsilon naught? Uh, yeah. So we are doing the fifth chapter. Okay, Maria. Yeah. So good. Uh, that's why I was uh, asking that. Uh, do you guys have any doubt? So we see that uh, how much. Uh, in this part, so let us uh, come in here. So we have sigma squared by two epsilon naught, right? This uh, we have. So what we want is that we want to uh, get we want to get uh, rid of this uh, this sigma, right? So what we can uh, you can write you can do in this way that you can just uh, plug in the values of sigma. So sigma is e and epsilon naught. So you can plug in the values and you will get uh, E square epsilon naught square by two epsilon naught. So this, this will cancel and you will get half epsilon naught and E square. You can do it uh, this way or what you can do is that multiply by epsilon naught and divide by epsilon naught. So we can do that, right? We can multiply the same quantity and divide it by two quantity. So that will not change the answer, right? So let's say that if I have three by five and I multiply it by two and divide uh, by two. 
So this will not change the answer, right? So this would be six by 10 and ultimately three by five again. So we can uh, do that. So you guys uh, try it uh, this way. Just plug in the value of sigma or you just uh, do it this way. So is that uh, clear, Aisha? Yes, sir. Okay, so noted uh, everybody. Yes, sir. Yes, Saad and Maria, noted. Yes, sir. Okay, so now uh, let us just remember these things. So this will be very useful in uh, problem solving. So first uh, case. First case, uh, we have a parallel plate capacitor, right? We have a parallel plate capacitor. First, parallel plate uh, capacitor, right? And uh, connected with connected with the battery. So battery will do what? Battery will provide some uh, potential difference. So this is a parallel plate capacitor, right? So this is how we re uh, we define or we denote a capacitor, right? Two parallel uh, lines, and uh, this is how we define a variable capacitor. So just remember this. This can be asked in the uh, viva of uh, the lab. So this is how we represent a capacitor, right? And uh, this is how we represent a variable capacitor. So just remember this, yeah. So we have a capacitor and it is uh, connected with uh, some battery. So battery we represent uh, by this, right? One bigger line, and uh, one smaller line. So this represents a negative voltage and this represents a positive. So this would create a positive charge in here and this one negative, right? And remember that uh, there is no dielectric in this, uh, right? So we have this uh, voltage which, which is fixed, right? So then uh, what is uh, capacitance? So capacitance is uh, Q by Q naught, let's say by V naught, right? And uh, this is, uh, this we should uh, write it as A E naught by D, okay? Then we have uh, this uh, charge, which is uh, what? C and uh, V naught, right? And then uh, we have uh, this uh, third one is the uh, energy. So energy would be how much? This would be Q and uh, V naught, half. Okay, so this is, uh, this is the case for a capacitor who's, uh, who's, uh, who's connected with some battery. Okay, so this uh, this is keeping the voltage constant. Is that uh, clear, guys? Yeah, is this uh, clear, guys? Okay, uh, is this uh, clear, guys? Yes. No. Okay, and we can also write uh, this as. Uh, we can also write uh, this as half C V naught square because uh, V naught is constant, C is constant, right? So we can also write it as C naught and uh, C naught. So this is uh, when uh, it is connected with some battery, which is uh, fixing the voltage. Now in the second case, uh, we have uh, we have a capacitor right who's connected to the battery and uh, again the voltage is constant right but uh, we have a dielectric in between so we have a dielectric between 
so whenever we have a dielectric then uh, let's say this is uh, k so we know that voltage is fixed right but uh, the capacitance is how much so capacitance is uh, c naught into k right because capacitance is uh, is changed and uh, also voltage charge has also changed so this is uh, how much q is uh, this is c v naught so c naught uh, v naught and k right which is uh, let's say q naught k right let, uh, let us write it as q naught okay and uh, then uh, this energy would be how much so this would be half right and uh, c which is this and uh, v naught squared so this is half c naught and k and uh, v naught squared so this is changed right this uh, voltage is constant so this is uh, the case too now uh, the other case is what so uh, we have uh, and if you want to write uh, the voltage so voltage is v naught right so that is why i have not uh, written so is this uh, clear to you guys we have this case right connected to some battery this is connected to some battery right and then uh, we have the third case so we have a third case in which this is uh, connected right but battery is disconnected so the switch is uh, let's say off and uh, this is uh, disconnected so if this is disconnected then uh, then what would be constant so if battery is disconnected then what would be constant q would be constant right which is let's say q naught okay so c would be again how much c would be c naught uh, k right and uh, second is uh, voltage now voltage will be changed so this would be how much this would be c is uh, q by v right so v is q by c so q naught by c which is c naught and uh, k so this would be v naught by k so you can see that voltage will decrease right so this will decrease and then the third one so the energy would be how much half c v square so this would be half and uh, this is c naught k and this is also this has also changed so v naught square by k square so k and k cancel and we have half c v naught square which is let's say e naught by k so you can see that uh, the energy has also decreased this is when this uh, capacitor is disconnected right whenever this is disconnected so just remember that the charge is constant and whenever it is connected whenever it is connected so just uh, remember that voltage is uh, constant is this uh, clear to you guys do you guys have any doubt yes yeah so okay so please uh, note it down and then uh, we'll do one question based on this please uh, note it down
continuous way. Yeah. And uh, Aisha and uh, Saad. You guys. Yeah. So please uh, note it down and. Uh, Oh, you didn't complete uh, the above part. Okay, sorry, sorry, Aisha. Yeah. So, yeah, you guys uh, wait. Mariam and uh, Saad, you guys wait and then. Yeah, so Aisha is uh, noting it down. So, these uh, type of question can be asked when the battery is connected or disconnected. So, Oh, done. Okay, so. So whenever you guys have completed, uh, please uh, let me know. Yes, guys, uh, completed. Done, sir. Done. Uh, Saad and uh, Maria, done. Yes, uh, guys, uh, done. Okay. Okay, so now let us uh, do one problem. And uh, then we will do the last topic. So we have a parallel plate capacitor. of uh, area 100 uh, centimeters square right and uh, what is so and separation is uh, separation one millimeter right holds a charge Holds a charge as zero point one two microcoulomb, right? So when connected to a uh, what uh, one twenty, uh, so this is one twenty volt supply, right? Find the dielectric of the material filling the gap. So find the dielectric uh, constant of uh, the material filling the gap. Okay. So we need to find out uh, what is the uh, dielectric medium, which is uh, K. Okay. And uh, what uh, do we know? So we know that uh, the area, area is uh, 100 centimeters square, which is uh, we have to change the unit and uh, separation. D is uh, one millimeter, and this we need to also change the unit and uh, charge. Q is uh, zero point one microcoulomb, right? So these part, and we also know about uh, the voltage. So this is uh, one twenty volt. This is uh, 
So is this a question clear to you guys? We have a parallel plate capacitor. This is connected to some battery, right? And this is providing this is providing a 120 volt supply. And then we have this separation, which is uh, one millimeter, right? And then we have this area, which is a uh, hundred uh, centimeter square. So then uh, we want to calculate, and the charge is also given. So charge on this uh, plate is also given, and it is filled with some dielectric medium, right? So this is filled with some dielectric medium. So what would be the capacitance, guys, for this? Uh, for this dielectric medium, what would be the capacitance? C would be how much? Yes. Yes, uh, guys, uh, C would be how much? Yeah, so we have a parallel plate capacitor of area 100 centimeters. So the area is given, right? Separation is given, Q is given, right? And voltage is given. Now we have to find uh, the dielectric. Uh, we have to find uh, the dielectric medium. Okay, so this we need to find out. And uh, uh, we have to find uh, this K. And uh, this, these are the things uh, which is given. Right, so these are the things which is given. So first, this charge is given. And uh, this uh, voltage is given. Right. So then we can calculate uh, what? Capacity. Yeah, so Q by V, we can calculate, right? And uh, this would be equal to what? This would be equal to A E epsilon naught K by D, right? Because we have a dielectric, so this would be this, right? Is this clear to you guys? Yes. So then we can calculate K, which would be Q into D, and uh, divided by this uh, A E epsilon naught into V. So this would be the dielectric uh, constant. So you guys uh, do this problem in your home and find the answer. Okay. Just remember that uh, you have to change the units of these uh, portions. Okay, who got uh, disconnected? Ah, I, uh, so the learning team got. Yeah, Saad, so did you understand uh, this part? So anybody has any doubt? Yes. Any doubt, uh, guys? Okay, Saad, any doubt? Yes, uh, sir. Okay, so please uh, note down this part and try in your home and uh, then we will do the, okay, so we have uh, 20 minutes, so then we can complete uh, that next step. So quickly guys, uh, quickly note it down. Just uh, quickly note it down. So, yeah. Oh, you have to leave, Saad. Uh, why is something important uh, important that has come to you? So, is that uh, really important? If that's important, uh, then you can uh, leave. If that is important. So, yeah. 
but uh, we are doing the last topic so yes okay okay so okay you can uh, leave oh no no worries no worries sir so i can uh, i will repeat that part in the sunday class so please uh, come on uh, not sunday saturday saturday right we have a class on uh, saturday so on saturday please come at uh, 12 pm kse which is 2:30 ist inshallah inshallah okay so aisha and uh, mariam noted yes sir allah hafiz allah hafiz sir okay so the next topic and the last one so finally we have uh, completed this uh, chapter so the final topic is the combination of uh, combination of uh, capacitors okay so we have two kinds of capacitor one is this uh, series and then we have this parallel combination okay so what do we know that in uh, just remember these uh, important uh, things so in parallel voltage is constant okay and in series uh, we have uh, charge constant understood guys yes sir okay so let us uh, do the series one so first is uh, series combination so when they are joined end to end right end to end they are joined so this is called the series combination okay and in series what is a what is a constant charge charge is constant so this would be this would be q right and uh, this would be also q right and then the if charge is uh, constant then voltage is different right so this is v1 and this is v2 right and uh, let's say this has uh, some equivalent equivalent uh, capacitor so let's say that uh, this has uh, some c1 and uh, c2 capacitors okay and then we are calculating the uh, equivalent capacitance so yeah what do we know that uh, voltage total voltage would be how much so v would be v1 or let me write uh, this information that q is a constant right so if q is constant then v would be v1 plus v2 right so this is uh, the equivalent this would be equal to this is the total voltage so this would be equal to how much c is uh, q by v so v is q by c so let us write this as uh, q and uh, c equivalent so this would be equal to v1 so v1 would be how much q by c c1 and v2 would be q by c2 right guys so we see that q is common so we can take it outside and this would be 1 by c1 plus 1 by c2 so this cancels and we have 1 over equivalent uh, so this would be c1 plus 1 over c2 is this uh, clear guys yes aisha and mariam clear yes sir 
Okay, so please uh, note it down uh, first, and then uh, we'll do the parallel combination, and then and then we'll do some question based on series and parallel combination. You guys are quickly note it down. Yeah, so the topic is a combination of capacitors. Yes, we have an assessment today. Yes, yes, Marian. Yeah, so noted, uh, guys. Noted. Yes, sir. Yeah, so now let us do the other combination. So, series we have done, now parallel. So, in parallel, what is constant, guys? Voltage. Voltage, yes, correct, absolutely correct. So, combination. So in parallel combination, as you guys say, the voltage is a constant. So all the V is remains, uh, V remains constant. So V join, right? Not end to end, but uh, like uh, this, okay. So all the left part together and all the right part together. So this is uh, the parallel combination, okay? And this is uh, connected to some voltage, right? In here, this was also connected to some voltage, but uh, yeah, this was also connected to some voltage, okay? So let's say that uh, if, V is same, right? So this is V, this is V, right? So charge would be different. This is Q1, this is a Q2, right? And uh, let's say this is a C1, this is a C2. So if charge is different, so total charge would be how much? This would be C1, uh, this would be Q1 plus Q2. Right, guys. So Q is a CV. So let's say write it as C equivalent and voltage. And this would be how much? C1 V plus C2 V. So you guys can see that we can take V common. So this would be C1 plus C2. So this cancels out and we have C equivalent equals to C1 plus C2, right? So please uh, quickly note it down. Uh, and if you guys have any questions, so please uh, ask me. Yeah, so. Done, already done, good, uh, my name. so Aisha. Yeah, Aisha, what about you? So one minute. One minute, uh, you said. Yeah, please uh, note it down. Done. Okay, so now uh, let's say that I gave you the example of two capacitors, but let's say that uh, we have more than, uh, so we have, let's say, yeah, 
these uh, kind of let's say several capacitors all are connected in series so the in series combination the equivalent uh, capacitance is this right 1 by c1 plus 1 by c2 plus 1 by c3 plus 1 plus 1 by c1 this is for series and uh, for parallel uh, we have let's say this is uh, so this is uh, c1 c2 c3 c4 and so on so and uh, we have right so this is parallel so for parallel we have c equivalent is c1 plus c2 plus c3 plus c so this is about uh, the series and parallel combination okay now let us do some question based on this so let's say that uh, we have uh, we have a diagram in which uh, we have this one so this is a uh, three uh, farad and uh, let's say this is uh, six farad okay so what would be the effective uh, capacitance what would we see equivalent so what this is a series combination or a parallel combination guys series, series. so series. one yeah, 1 over C equivalent uh, would be how much? 1 over C1 plus 1 over C2. So this would be 1 over C equivalent, which is uh, 1 by 3 plus 1 by 6. So 1 over C equivalent is uh, 6, 3 LCM is uh, 6, right? So 2 plus 1. So this would be equal to 1 over C equivalent 3 by 6. So then we take the reciprocal. So this is two feta, right? So you see that uh, for the case of series combination, the total is uh, lesser. Okay, so C equivalent would be two feta, right guys? Okay, so please uh, note down this part. And uh, then we have the mixed, mixed kind of combination. Okay, so series and pa parallel uh, both are combinedly, or we can say that mixed. So we can have some mixed problem also. Yeah, Hasib is uh, not coming, so I am. Just remember that in series, voltage is different and in parallel, uh, voltage is same. So in series, voltage right. is different, done. Okay, so in this question, just remember that C equivalent is two farad. Okay, so let's say that, uh, let's say that this three farad and six farad are connected to some uh, five volt, battery so this is 5 volt uh, this is a uh, 3 farad and this is a uh, 6 farad okay so we have calculated uh, the equivalent uh, right equivalent capacitance so this is uh, this is uh, how much 2 farad and uh, this is 5 volt so what would be the charge Yes, this is C into V. So this would be C is 2, right, into 5. 
so this would be 10 uh, coulomb right guys now yes, if sir. now if somebody ask you that what is uh, the so what is different in series combination voltage is different right so if somebody ask you that what is the voltage in this part and a voltage in this part so voltage in this part v1 would be what charge is same right this is q this is q this is q and we have calculated this is 10 so v1 would be what uh, c by q1 or q by c1 right so q by c1 so this would be q we have calculated 10 by 3 volt so this would be v1 and uh, v2 would be what uh, q by c2 so this would be 10 by 6 which is uh, 5 by 3 so these uh, kind of question can be asked is this clear yeah we have to just remember that what is same for different cages for what is same for parallel combination what is same for uh, series combination. you guys i quickly note down uh, this part and then uh, we'll do the mixed problems So, whenever you guys have noted down, uh, please tell. Done. Done. Aisha, done. Yes. Okay, so now uh, we have uh, some mixed problems. Right, so we have uh, this kind of situation. This is this, and then this is this. And this is uh, then connected to some voltage. Okay. So we have to find what is the effective, or we can say that what is, what is the effective uh, capacitance at this point? Okay. So how can we do that? We see that uh, these two are in series. Right, and these two are also in series. So what we do is that first we say solve this series. Let's say that uh, this is two uh, farad, uh, this is three farad, right? And let's say this is uh, one farad and this is uh, two farad. Okay. So whenever we have uh, two uh, factors, so we can write. Uh, this is C equivalent, this is 1 over C1, 1 over C2. So we can directly calculate 1 over C equivalent is C1, C2, C1 plus C2. So we can directly write C equivalent is C1, C2 by C1 plus C2. So for the case of uh, two capacitor only, we can write uh, in this way. So we can find it this way. Uh, this can be solved into this. So, yeah, so the effective diagram would be this, this one and uh, this one, right? So this is a uh, two, three, and uh, this is uh, one, two. So you see that uh, these are in series. So this would be two into three divided by two plus three. So this is six by five, and this is how much? So this is a two into one plus two plus one. So this is two by three, right? So we have the effective resistance as, a, this is a six by five farad, and this is 
how much two by three fera okay and then this is in uh, what kind of combination this is what combination parallel so we can like, calculate the c equivalent as uh, c1 plus c2 so this would be 6 by 5 plus 2 by 3 so this is a uh, 15 and uh, 3 6 3 is uh, 18 so 3 5 is uh, so 10 so 28 uh, by 50 fera so this would be equivalent uh, equivalent uh, capacitance is this uh, clear to you guys yeah so this yes, would sir. yeah this would be equal to 28 by 15 farad and this is combined to some voltage so you guys are uh, note down from here and uh, yeah mixed from here so you guys are note down from here. and if you guys have any questions so you can ask me Yeah, and uh, whenever you guys uh, need me to scroll down the screen, okay, so please. Uh... Just remember that in mixed problems, we have to simplify part by part, right? We first simplify the complex part and then we just draw it again and then simplify that and then so this is how we solve uh, these kind of questions. If you guys have noted, uh, then log into your learning view account. And uh, yeah, please uh, take that test. Go to the class assessment part and take that test. Yes, uh, noted, uh, everyone. Yes, sir. Mariam, noted. Yes, sir. Okay, so please uh, log into the learning account and uh, find the active test. Okay, do you guys uh, find the test? Yes, sir. Good. So all the best, guys. Uh, take that test and uh, yeah. So what uh, I have uh, not talked about in this chapter is uh, two topics. So those were totally conceptual topic. One was this uh, equipotential surface, right? And uh, the other was uh, conductors. So I will, what I will do is that uh, these have some six properties and this has also some five or six properties. So what I will do is that I will make a video and uh, give it to you guys. Okay, because uh, this would have taken so much of time. So that is why I skipped that part. These are only the conceptual parts. Okay, theoretical part only. So I will do that too. So we have uh, completed uh, two chapters, guys. And uh, yeah, so on Saturday, I will start the third chapter. Yeah, so you guys uh, take that test and uh, Rifa has not uh, joined yet. So yeah. 
if you guys have any question you can ask or if you guys are taking the test then all the rest Yes, uh, hello Rifa, Assalamu alaikum. Hello. Uh, hello, Assalamu alaikum. How are you Rifa? Assalamu alaikum. No, I'm, I'm good. Um, I'm having a network issue, so that's why I joined. Ah, okay, okay. So, is it working fine now? Uh, yeah, it is. Okay. So do you have any doubt from the previous class? Uh, what uh, did we do? So we have completed uh, the, right? Or we were doing some, what we were doing? We were still on that uh, chapter, right? So we have uh, sent me the homework, right? So you have solved uh, the, uh, the 48 question you solved. And uh, the diagonal one, uh, yeah, so then if the longer side is 14 meters more than the shorter side, right, then find the lengths of the sides of the field. Okay, so 
the 46th question i didn't do that i didn't understand 46th one right so but why did you solve this uh, 